Okay, welcome to AAA 619, the pattern recognition class. This is the first lecture in pattern recognition class. What I want to do today is just to spend a long time going over the logistic for the class, and then we will start talk a bit about the machine learning. This is Sung Yong Kim, and I will be an instructor for this course. I'm a seasoned professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I'm personally working in the machine learning and computer vision field, and I'm really excited about teaching this class. Okay, let me start with the introduction. I joined the Korea University this year. Before joining the Korea University, I was a postdoctoral researcher in School of Computer Science and Communication at EPFL in Switzerland, and I'm a uh, postdoctoral researcher in this uh, School of Electrical Engineering at Yonsei University. I received the Bachelor and PhD degrees in Yonsei University in 2012 and 2018 respectively. My research area is computer vision and machine learning. Using visual computing algorithm and machine learning techniques, I will develop a various dense visual correspondence algorithms such as the serial matching, optical flow, close modal correspondence, semantic correspondence. I've also developed a visual data understanding algorithm for data processing, visual recognition, trained video understanding, and objective computing. Okay, this is uh, today's agenda. We are, what we want to do is to see the basic course information and course schedule in this semester, um, grading policy, and what is the pattern recognition and machine learning. Okay, so this is the uh, basic course information. We will regularly meet in every Monday from 2 p.m. to 4.45 p.m., okay? As you know, due to the coronavirus, the first two weeks of uh, all the class in Korea University will be replaced by the online course. So we are supposed to meet face-to-face -face in March 30 if there's no something in particular. The, the room number of this course is B. 102 at Ujong Information and Communication Building. The building may be here. Okay, I'm gonna use the different color here. Okay. So actually it's also my first time giving a lecture in Korea University, so let's find the building together. Okay, so my office is the 404C at Science Library Building. I will use this one here. I know this building well because I'm here now, Science Library Building. Okay, this is my phone number and this is my email address. If you have any question or something to discuss relevant to the course research or life, please send me an email or come by my office. This is the official office hour. But you can come by my office anytime you want if you just let me know before that. In this course, we will use the Blackboard website. All the materials, including the slide and project assignment, will be available here. If you don't have any experience on Blackboard, don't worry about this. You can easily figure out how to use this in a minute. And I will also upload the recorded course video on my YouTube channel here. Here. You can use this video to review what we have done so far. In fact, this is the first video in my YouTube channel, so let's see what happens after this course is end. Okay, in this course, we will talk about an overview of pattern recognition and machine learning. And we're going to learn the basic understanding of the fundamental information and the fundamental concepts of the machine learning or pattern recognition. We will also experience how machine learning is done on a practical problem, such as the computer vision, natural language processing, or speech recognition, something like that, okay? 
but with this course, we cannot instantly become an expert data scientist, ML researcher, statistician, large scale MS specialist, MS software expert, domain expert, something like that. We can't build our own self aware AI immediately, but I'm sure if we if we take uh, this course regularly and faithfully, we will build a solid background or solid knowledge on machine learning and pattern recognition or deep learning that gives you a good background for your future research or career. Okay. In this course, no book is mandatory. Nevertheless, the following book contains a part relevant to the discourse, such as the Linear Algebra and Learning from the Data by Gilbert Strang, and the Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning by the Bishop. The Bishop is now the laboratory director at Microsoft Research Cambridge. He is a really famous guy in machine learning field. And another example is the Pattern Classification by Duda. Finally, here is the Team Learning by Ayanko Fellow. I think that you might heard about the Ayanko Fellow or the Generative Adversary Network called the GAN, which is one of the most powerful and interesting algorithm in the learning area lately. So we will learn this at the late part of this course as well. Okay. Okay, so this is the tentative the course schedule. Today, we are going to talk about the introduction and basic math, including the linear algebra, probability, and we will learn the supervised learning, generative learning, learning theory, basic algorithms such as the support vector machine, k-means clustering, mixture of Gaussian, and expected and maximization, and principal independent component analysis. At week six and seven, there will be the project topics and plan here. I will explain this later. At the second part of this course, we will more focus on deep learning. I think the most of you already heard about the deep learning word. Take some time. Take take some courses related to this. We are now living in deep learning world. With deep learning, artificial intelligence called the AI is dramatically growing and so many algorithms and applications have been improved by deep learning. So in this course, we will also learn the basics of neural network, such as the representation learning, backpropagation, activation function, regularization, data augmentation, dropout, batch normalization, something like that. Then we'll be going deeper, such as the CNN architecture, recurrent neural network, deep generative model, and selective topics in computer vision, something like that. And finally, there will be the final project presentation here, okay? So this is the grading policy of this course. We will get a we will get a fifty five point with this course project. The topics should be relevant to the pattern recognition and machine learning or deep learning. I will give you a detailed instruction about the project in the next lecture. So yeah, this is the detailed the course project grading. And there will be the final take home exam here. You will get the 40% point with this final exam. Finally, you will get the 5, five point with the class participation here. And I'm not going to check your attendance regularly because you are a graduate student. I know how much you are very busy frequently and unten unintensive, un unintentionally, but I would say taking a course, taking a machine learning course or taking a artificial intelligence course make your 
background solid and which eventually help to encourage your research skill and help to be a, an expert in your, your future career, okay? Okay, let's start with uh, what is a pattern recognition and machine learning. Pattern recognition has its origin in, in engineering field. It aims for the automatic discovery of regular routine data and the use of this regularity to take action, such as the classifying the data into the different class categories, something like that. Okay. On the other hand, machine learning grow out of the computer science field. It is a science discipline that is concerned with the design and development of the algorithm that allows the computer to evolve behavior based on empirical data, like the training set. Actually, they can be viewed the uh, view as the two facelets of the same field. I mean, actually, pattern recognition and machine learning is dealing with the same same algorithm and same phenomena of the data set. So in this course, we will use the terminology of the pattern recognition and machine learning alternatively, okay? Okay, so machine learning grow out of the in artificial intelligence field and it ha it ha it gives the new capability for a computer. So the examples of the machine learning is data mining or application that can that can program by hand. Okay. So so data mining is dealing with the large scale data set from the growth of the automation or web data. For example, web click web click data set medical record, biology, engineering, data set, something like that. Another application is like the autonomous helicopter, handwriting, recognition, most of natural language processing, and computer vision. Okay. Generally, machine learning algorithm can be divided into the three categories such as uh, supervised learning and unsupervised learning and reinforced learning. In this course, we, we will deal with the three, these three kinds of algorithm. First of all, supervised learning contain, contains the classification and regression problem. The unsupervised learning contains the dimensional reduction and clustering, something like that. Uh, finally, reinforced learning is related to the robot navigation, game AI, skill accumulation, learning task, clear time decision, something like that. I guess most of you heard about this terminology before, but in this class, we will go deeper with this terminology and we will learn the, what is the, this terminology means and how this terminology can be applied to the real world application. Okay, let's see the difference between the supervised and unsupervised learning. So given a series of the data samples, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, something like that. The goal of the supervised learning, learning is to learn the, it's, learn, it's, it's is to learn to provide the collect output given a new input data set, okay? So the, the main idea of the supervised learning is to use the desired output like the Y1, Y2, Y3, and Y4, something like that. So this input data set and output data set are mapped each other, something like that. And the supervised learning is to learn the mapping function between this y and f over x. 
So the examples of the supervised learning is li it's like the regression and classification problem. Another type of learning is the unsupervised learning. Unlike the supervised learning, unsupervised learning aims to find the analyze the hidden patterns in low unlabeled data. The examples of the unsupervised learning is class clustering, dimensional t reduction, topping modeling, blind source separation, something like that. Okay, let's see the example. We have a data set that looks like this. It's like this, okay? So where each example was labeled either as a positive or negative, in supervised learning, we are told explicitly what is so-called the right answer. The aims of supervised learning is to build the machine to divide this sample for example, if we use the discriminative learning, we can divide these two samples using the decision boundary like this. So this part will give you the right answer. This part give you the wrong answer. So aims of part learning is to find uh, this decision boundary, something like that. Unlike this, in unsupervised learning, we are given the data that looks different in in here. This data set looks like that. Doesn't have any label or data who has the same label or really no label. So we are given the data set like this. We are not told what to do a bit. Instead, we are just told here it's a, here is the data set, and can you find some structure in the data set? So given the data set, the unsupervised algorithm might decide the, the data lives in two different class, like this and this. This is the cluster one, this is a cluster two. Okay, so there's a one cluster, there's a different cluster, the unsupervised learning may break this data into the these separated cl clusters. Okay. Okay. So that's the basic idea of the machine learning. It's a really basic idea of the machine learning. Actually, we are now living in the machine learning world. The machine learning or deep learning can be applied to so many applications such as uh, virtual assistant, like the intelligence agent, and social media field, and transportation, like the intelligence auto driving car, and financial service, and healthcare, like the drug discovery and disease uh, diagnosis, and e commerce, something like that. One of the most popular applications is computer vision field. So computer vision deal with the image data sets such as the astronomy or face recognition and medical imaging and OCR and self-driving car, something like that. From this image data set, the computer vision algorithm or machine learning algorithm use to this data set to understand the data set and find the some information and represent the, this image with the proper features. Another example is the natural language processing using the text data set, such as the text understanding, text generation, spam detection, user content, and medical text and machine translation. Medical data set is another popular example. Recently, there are many reports or research about the coronavirus, and some of these papers try to 
understand the patterns of the coronavirus by using the machine learning or deep learning technique. So this is also very interesting field. Audio and multimodal data set is another example, such as the hearing as voice recognition, automatic translation, limb reading, video analysis, things like that. And numerical or sensor data sets such as the astronomy telescope, fitness tracker, weather forecast, robotics, kinet, something like that. Numerical sensor data can also benefit from the machine learning or deep learning stuff. Games or simulations such as the uh, immediate the feedback test or Go, which is very really well known as the AlphaGo and Physical World, something like that, are very powerful example of the machine learning application. Finally, you can do many things with the internet data using the machine learning technique, like the recommender system, virtual assistant, and advertisement, something like that. Okay, so this is the end of this lecture. Again, I'm really excited about teaching this course and studying pattern recognition, machine learning, and deep learning with you. I hope you will also enjoy this course and learn the basic concepts of machine learning from this course. In the next lecture, we are going to leave the basic of the linear algebra and probability theory. Okay, thank you.